So today we're going to just go through a couple of the headlines from the newsletter. This is uh, your your uh, friendly Our Hometown weekly newsletter, uh, viewing it in online, on, online here. Um, so basically we wanted to point out the uh, automated monthly payments. We've been doing this for a while, um, but not everyone knows about it. So we made a newsletter and we're also going to be I think including some information in uh, invoices this month, just so that everyone knows if you're not getting this email, but we do ACH uh, monthly bank payments. So if you wanna just cut out the extra task on your to-do list of sending us a check every month, uh, this is a very natural transition. If you're paying by credit card, you can also switch to this. Uh, it's pretty much, you know, from your perspective, the same thing, all automated. Um, so definitely contact us. There's a pretty simple process to set you up and we'll take care of that on our side. For the most part, we might have a few questions for you, but um, this is a pretty easy thing to set up and we've already had some responses on this t this morning. So that's great. Um, just trying to make things easier whenever uh, you know there's an opportunity to automate something, we like to do that. Okay. And then we had last week uh, an exciting week, a lot of webinars, a lot of virtual conferences. We did the Illinois Press Association on Thursday, which went fantastic. We uh, focused on paywall, increasing digital subscriptions. Uh, also just talked about different paywall models. So you can see the whole slideshow if you just want to breeze through and just kind of see some of the bullet points. That's all here on the blog post. Or you can just watch the whole video. It's about a 45 minute presentation. And uh, it'll be like you were there. And then uh, if you have any questions, just shoot an email to ops. Um, but, you know, whenever possible, we'd like to have you all join us for these. I don't think I think we had one customer from Illinois join us because we don't have a you know ton of papers in Illinois right now. Um, but that one was very really, one thing that was really cool about those webinars, I thought, was um, one of the hosts came back and told us that they learned something on the paywall options that they hadn't heard before too. So that was right. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I think that was um, uh, in the Illinois Press one. Yeah, the first one on Thursday. So yeah, I think a lot of people just don't, uh, I, I kind of took a lot of this for granted. And so this presentation really is a work in progress, but it's, I feel like it's, it's pretty, in almost a final form at this point because we've never really taken and put together our process for evaluating our customers' business, you know, their business model, which a big part of that is the digital subscriptions. We've never boiled it down to a presentation like this with just like checklists. So you can just go down this list, you know, starting here, just make sure reevaluate your paywall model. Then you can jump ahead to the paywall model slide to see everything that's available on WordPress. And then you can, you know, if you haven't thought about pricing or if auto renewal is not something that you're set up with, you can jump ahead to that slide. Um, and, you know, these presentations are just all kind of centered around the FAQs. So, you know, if you find yourself asking these same questions, then uh, this is a good place to check for our answers. So then we've got on Thursday, then we've uh, got a similar follow up here on um this presentation was really cool. It was in combination with the Iowa, the Wisconsin, and Minnesota press associations. Also the online media campus, which is like kind of touches all three of those uh, associations. And then America's Newspapers was another organization that was involved in this. So this was the first time we had the opportunity to do a webinar with America's Newspapers. And I got to say that was very big deal for me. I've been watching what they do for over a year now. And they, they just really, ever since they became America's newspapers, they were something else before. I forget exactly what the name was, but it was some other association. And then they combined a bunch to become America's newspapers. That was in fall of 2019. So over a year now, they've really led the industry through the pandemic. And uh, honestly, they inspired me to start our virtual conference series. I saw what they were doing and just thought this is the, you know, the way things are going to be going forward. The majority of stuff will be, you know, virtual. Um, maybe we'll get back to in person, but now is the, you know, the opportunity to jump on the virtual scene and 
establish yourself as you know a virtual marketer i guess and i think we definitely have done that so we've got the video here we've got the presentation it's a very similar presentation to the iowa one but i there are some additions um because i wanted to focus on a few other different things okay so that's it for our uh, webinar follow-up from last week we've got some upcoming events obviously today is office hours but really actually until the new year there's not going to be many other events uh, no virtual conferences we're going to take a little break and then start strong in january um okay and as always feel free to send us feedback on what we're covering in these newsletters because you know we're always looking for ideas we've got a lot of ideas in the queue but if a publisher asks us about something we're gonna put that pretty much right to the front of the line which is actually a good transition. Let's see, do we have any uh, FAQs that you guys want to go over from the last week that we saw a lot of? Anything come to mind? Not for me, really, but I'd like to build on that, um, sending us your ideas, because I think mm -hmm. publishers now, it's the end of the year, it's the beginning of the new fiscal year. Everybody's looking at budgets. What you know, they can put into their paper as far as a small investment. If there's right. something out there that, you know, some idea, it, don't think it's impossible because right. we've got some a great engineering team and most of what we have as far as features comes from our publishers. They're publishers' mm -hmm. ideas that they thought were way out there, but our team has been able to develop. So whatever ideas come to mind now at the beginning of the year while everybody's in the planning process, send them to us, send them our way. Yep. That's a really good point. Yeah. Cause we're in the planning process too. And so last year we sent out a survey and I know a lot of you filled it out, but not everyone. So hopefully we'll get more people filling that out every year, but we are watching the industry too. And, you know, we're looking at all the big papers and what they're doing and picking out things that we like. So we will bring some ideas to the table and allow you guys to vote. I'd like to do that again, uh, exactly as we did it last year. But, you know, if you give us the ideas now, then they'll get on that list for other people, you know, to uh, weigh in on. So now's the time. That's a really good point, Terry. Um, let's just make a quick little like video here, I guess, about social media, because we haven't really, we don't talk about this. We probably don't plug it enough. So maybe we can just make this a, a highlight clip. But if you're uh, with our hometown, if you're on our hometown's platform, we want to let you know what we're doing in any way that, you know, you want to receive that information. So a lot of people like email, but, you know, maybe you prefer Facebook. Maybe you're on Twitter all day long and it would actually be better for you to get the updates that way because you're there anyway. Uh, maybe you want to see these videos on YouTube and uh, just watch the updates. No matter how you want to get the information, we have a channel. So everyone, uh, if you haven't already signed up for the newsletter, please do. But also definitely check us out on Facebook. We've got pages um, for, well, we've got the, the Facebook page, <laughs> um, which has all of our blog posts. They automatically go onto um, the Facebook page. So you're gonna see everything that's put on our blog, which you know, in a way is almost better than the newsletter because you're getting it in real time. And then we've got a Twitter page. Let's see, where is that? It was in this. So Twitter is the same thing. Every single thing that we publish automatically goes to Twitter. And that's that new automated post feature that we're gonna be talking about a lot more in the new year. It's kind of still in, Beta, we're, we're using it our, at our hometown and we have a couple customers that are gonna start using it for their newspaper. But um, yeah, this just kind of runs itself. So you can see all the links there. And then we've got YouTube, which is updated constantly. We've got a lot of different playlists, weekly updates, all these videos go up here. And we're also using audio articles to create podcasts and video podcasts of the blog posts. So if you seriously, whether you want to listen, view, read, read on social media, read in your email, we've got a way for you to do that and get all the updates that we've got going out. So this is, you know, what we've been doing with audio articles and it's just basically reads off the blog post. And I know I've shown this in this session before, but 
Um, yeah, so social media, you know, it's it's great. We we recognize it for its strengths. We sometimes we kind of resent these companies, but they are good for you know basic marketing, and that's what this is all about. So, um, hopefully, we'll get some registrations there. Uh, let's see what else did I have. Here. So yeah, what Vera is talking about is this password reset. Um, we we pointed out that um, you know you do not need to well sorry the subscribers do not need to change your password, but as Vera said, it's going to prompt you to reset it. So don't bother resetting it on your own. We're going to be working through this. It's probably going to be the next few weeks or possibly a month plus for us to finish this because we got to go through all the customers so you know we announced this a while back it may not happen until the new year for you but just um be aware that's if you haven't if it hasn't happened to you yet it's still coming because we got to secure the whole system so everyone will have this eventually but nothing you have to do in the meantime that's the bottom line um okay cool anything else that was a good thing to bring up vera 